Lindsay Stewart, creator of Tipsy Tappers, joins us today for a taste of tap dancing. During her class, you can sip, shuffle, and shake it with your friends, and then put it all together in a routine that's 100% Instagram worthy. Whether you've been dancing for years or sliding on your first pair of tap shoes, Tipsy Tapsers is a unique way to have an awesome night. Lindsay, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Um, Absolutely, thanks for having me. Oh, our pleasure. <laughs> can you start with just an overview? Tell us a little bit about Tipsy Tappers, where we can find you. Tipsy Tappers, it's a tongue twister, it is. <laughs> um, so Tipsy Tappers, so it's, it's similar to wine and paint, but this concept is wine and tap dancing, right? So it's Very super nice. fun. It's very unique, right? So we see all the all the wine and paint classes, but instead of painting, we're now using our tap shoes and we're kind of painting with, with our feet, which is really fun. So um, it's something unique and something that I personally have never seen and I'm excited to bring it to everyone else. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Lindsay, where this passion from dance came from. Yeah, great question. So I have been a dancer my whole life. So I started since the age of two. I was still in diapers in my first tap class. And I've danced all throughout high school. I was on the college dance team. And now I'm actually a dance teacher. So I still continue my love for dance all the way. And now even when I'm you know, mid-20s, I'm still dancing and still having fun. And, um, and this is just a, another way to kind of bring people together, kind of have a bond, kind of have that energy, and just bring together people who, who love and try, do, you know, try something new, which is awesome. That is fantastic. So what's the story t with Tipsy Tappers itself? <laughs> How did this get started? It's a great question. So everyone always asks me that question. Every time that we start a class, I always tell this story. And, and that story is one of my friends actually came to me about a year and a half ago. And they said, you know what, Lindsay? They said, it's always been a bucket list item of mine to take a tap class. And I go, OK, that's, that's strange. It's, it's something that I do every day and you know you take for granted that you're able to tap and, and perform that sh this was an item on her bucket list so I said absolutely I said I would love nothing more than to do this so I found a little studio and I have a little room and I said you know what bring some friends and I said of course bring some wine right of <laughs> because that'll <laughs> loosen everyone up and yeah. it just makes it that much more fun so that's kind of how it started it was it was a bucket list item from one of my one of my friends oh how neat <laughs> So tell me a little bit about the typical class. So okay. how does it start off? Do you rent the shoes? Do you have to have shoes that you come in with? Yep, another great question. So you don't have to have shoes. Um, so typically if you own a pair of shoes, which, which it's actually kind of funny, a lot of people who were old dancers kind of whip out their own tapping shoes. Which is oh, fun. Do you have a pair yourself? No, no. I <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, so it's funny. That's so great. if you have tap shoes, I always say it's encouraged to bring a pair. However, if you don't, not a problem at all. I have plenty of tap shoes, all different sizes, and it's kind of on a first come, first serve basis. So we've never run out, but on a first come, first serve basis, we, we have the tap shoes. You can take some tap shoes, and the class is an hour long, and okay. what happens is we do a little warm up in the beginning, loosen up our feet a little bit, Okay. and then I teach three moves, typically, so right. three tap moves. So anything from a shuffle and what we'll learn today you'll see so I learned three moves and then the tap class at the end we perform a nice little fun routine at the end oh, and then we great. kind of put it all together and it's a big fun production of of our shaking and shimmying and, and shuffling as well and where do the drinks come in is that at the beginning or all the way through or are you like dancing all, with your cups or all the way all the way through that's exactly correct so you can either hold your cup so we have tumblers which is kind of cool so we have our tipsy tumblers okay so you can drink while in class right or we have our water breaks which do as you please with your water breaks and any <laughs> any drink or does everyone bring their drink of choice or is there bring your drink of choice so I don't provide any of the any of the drinks so if you're feeling whatever you're feeling that night you can bring whatever you'd like oh that's so great now <laughs> do you have any favorite stories from the classes or things that people have said that really struck you so that's a good question I have I don't know if a favorite story comes to mind but I'll tell you this some favorite moments um, come from when people who have never taken a tap class and quite frankly, they come in and they're a little timid, right? You can just tell this is new to them, right? As anyone would be, it's, it's when you're trying something new, it's a little daunting, right? So my favorite moments come from when those people first walk in. You can tell they're a little nervous, it's a little uneasy, but at the end, when you see them shaking and smiling and giving so much sass, it is so much fun seeing the pure joy and excitement and energy that they have at the end of the dance. So that is, I'd say, one of the best moments that I have is watching these people who, you know, don't really know or are, are uneasy if they can do it. 
really succeed in the end. That would totally be me. I, <laughs> I have two left feet, but it's just intriguing to me. So tell me, do you have to have a certain experience level or it sounds like just anybody can come or? That's exactly correct. So we have one class a month um, and a lot of those are, all the classes once a month are open to the public. So you can come whenever you want. Our classes are posted online. About how many people come each and time? And typically, that's a good question. Well, we started off smaller, right? But since we've grown, we probably have about 10 to 15 people a class. Oh, that's so Which fun. is awesome. Um, and those monthly classes are typically beginner to intermediate levels. Um, so if you are new, we welcome all dancers, all non-dancers, which is amazing. Um, and then the beauty of it too is if you do have a, a great group of friends or who you're, you know you really love to dance, we can customize the class for any of those private classes that you have. If we did want to do another private class or another little session just for you and some friends, we can kind of customize it to your um, dance ability, which is nice. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. <laughs> well, let's look into a Tipsy Tapper's class, Tipsy Tapper, <laughs> <laughs> as Lindsay teaches some new moves across the floor. Perfect. I think so. Let's, Perfect. Let's do this. Okay, so I always suggest that people start with their hands on their hips just for balance. It's just way easier. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn the classic tap move, which is a shuffle, right? Okay. So this is the ball of your foot, right? That's the ball of your tap foot. So you're going to shuffle, you're going to brush front, and we're going to brush back, making two separate noises. So you're going to brush front, back, and then we're going to do a ball change, which in dance terms is just step, step. So that's all you do. So a shuffle ball change is what it is. So we're gonna start with our right foot. You go front, back, step, step. That's it. Front, back, step, step. Good. Front, back, step, step. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three of them, right? Okay. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. We're gonna do three of them. And then normally what we do is we do a little hip shake at the end. So if you want, so we can do five, six, seven, eight. So we do some fun shakes, okay? All right. So we're gonna do shuffle ball change. So we're gonna do three times, then we're gonna do some fun shakes. Are we ready? I think so. <laughs> Just go Let's the give it a try. Here we go, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, good, step, step. Five, six, good, two more. One, two, three, and shake. Five, six, seven, eight. That was it. <laughs> That was great. Wow. <laughs> that was great. So that's a shuffle ball change. Okay. Very simple, right? Now another one that we're gonna do is called a maxi Ford. Okay. So this one also in court, it includes a shuffle, but we're gonna do it with our left foot, right? Okay. So the left foot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step on our right foot. Step on our right foot. We're gonna put all of our weight. That's it. I know balance, right? You can use me for balance means. <laughs> step, we're gonna shuffle. We're gonna step back on this foot and we're gonna toe. Two. That's it. You got it. Okay. So we're gonna step. We're gonna shuffle. Step. Toe. Toe. That's it. That's it. Step. Shuffle. shuffle. Step. Toe. Good. So we'll do two of them. Are you ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Step. Shuffle. Step. Toe. Good. Step. Shuffle. Step. Do one more. Good. And step. Shuffle. Step. Toe. That was it. <laughs> That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too oh, that bad. that was really fun. And with more people too, it, it, it feels so exciting. And with a little bit of wine, it helps out a little and bit And with too. the sound and the, and the <laughs> it actually makes it even more. It is, it kind of gives you a little bit of energy too. So. Absolutely. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. That was actually really fun. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> now, you were talking earlier about if you have friends that you do private classes. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about the private classes that you offer. Do you yep. get to ask that a lot? Are there different themes or? or um... Good question, good question. So. Typically, like I said, we do one class a month, and those are open to the public. And then if you wanted to have a, a birthday party or a bachelorette party or any sort of fundraiser, then you can kind of set up a private class, and then I can obviously 
help you and we can work together to set up a date and, and, and um, experience level and things like that. Um, so a couple of the, those private classes, it's actually funny, so you mentioned a theme, right? So mm -hmm. you said, do we have themes? Absolutely, and that's kind of what makes it so much fun. So we have obviously our, our holiday themes, right? So we did our, our Halloweens, we did our Christmases, which was fun. Um, and then what we also did was, so we've done, um, you know, like I said, birthday parties and things like that, and fundraisers too. So that's probably one of the most enjoyable things that we have is we're able to kind of help out other organizations and groups. So like, what organizations do you, do you support? Yeah, so we have worked with Relay for Life. Um, we've worked with um, St. Jude, and we've also worked with um, Penn State Dance Marathon as well. So we do a couple of those every once in a while, and I, I truly find those are the most rewarding because Absolutely. not only are we having fun as we're sipping and shuffling, but we're also donating and, and giving back also to the community as much as we can. Wow, that's really neat. Yeah. Do you have any other community type events for amongst your own community, brunches or, or times to get together? We do. So we've actually, um, we've had a, a Tipsy Tappers brunch edition, actually. We had it a couple, um, a couple weeks ago and we're actually having another upcoming one. Um, and that is on Saturdays. So instead of our typical, we'll call it happy hour night Tipsy Tapper class, um, we actually kind of switched it and now we did it Saturday morning and it was really fun. So we had a, a an hour tipsy tapper class and then our next hour was brunch edition oh, right so fun. then we had some food we had some drinks and it was really fun so we do so we have them at night and then we also kind of spice it up sometimes and we have tipsy tapper brunch edition is how we like to call it at, at one of the local bars actually around here oh have fun it was cool. Now, is Arlington, Alexandria area the only area that has access to you, or do you ever travel and, and bring a show on the road? 100%. We are willing and we love to travel. So, our, like I said, our main core group is normally in Arlington, um, but we have been to a couple other cities. So, we've been to New Jersey. So, I'm actually from New Jersey myself. Okay. So, I was Jersey able, girl. I am, yes. So, I was able to travel home and, and have some of my home friends and, and family join me. Um, so, that was awesome. And then I'm also a Hokie myself. So, I went to Virginia Tech. So we actually traveled to Blacksburg, and Blacksburg kicked butt. They were so fun. They were so awesome. I bet they loved that. And it was so great. So we do travel. Um, we're, we're trying to figure out a couple other spots. Stay tuned for, for a couple other of the locations that we're traveling to. But we are really excited, and we, we love to do it, because all we have to do, all we need is a studio, right? And as long as we yeah. have a, a studio that we can tap on, then everything else is good to go. Thanks. How can we get in touch with you? Like, yeah. if people wanted to like, get on your mailing list, um, um, is there a place that people could say, hey, this is my bucket list too. Absolutely. Well, that's a great question. Um, so tipsytappers.com, that's, okay. that's kind of the main form of communication. If anyone is Instagram, you can always follow me on Instagram as well, which is fun. Um, but tipsytappers.com, the website is normally the best spot. On there, it lists all of our upcoming classes, like I said, including the brunch one that's coming up in July. Fantastic. We have our Any monthly fun class. theme things or things um, like that not on yet. the website? Not, or, no, well, okay. <laughs> just, just the brunch edition for right now. Okay. Um, but of course, we'll always have one for, like I said, Halloween coming up and the holidays, and it's always just so fun. Um, so we have the brunch one, and and then, um, and then, yeah, like I said, online, that's normally the best where you can see all of the, um, all the upcoming classes and you can sign up online, which we encourage oh, people to do. That way we know how many people we're expecting and we don't want them to miss the class. Well, here's a clip from the throwback night and then Lindsay is going to perform for us live. <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay Stewart. I'm already hooked and I can't wait to come for a class. Be sure to check out tipsytappers.com for more information. And remember, all that matters is that you keep sipping and shuffling.